Hey, this is Brent with Lackens Motorsports. This is a Shelby aluminum FE block that we're going to be using uh, for uh, a 511 cubic inch uh, all aluminum FE dealing with uh, Jay Brown's new uh, FE power cylinder heads. And it's going to be dry sump and uh, have all kinds of, of cool tricks in it. Um, just got it back from being line honed. So today we're gonna get the cam bearings knocked in it and then a, a final wash and get some other goodies going. Um, crankshaft is still about six weeks out. Uh, the rods are here, but I am having the rod bolts swapped out. I'm changing from an L19 bolt in our Cali's rods to an ARP2000 bolt. Uh, diamond pistons are on the way and our bullet a uh, solid roller camshaft is here, and we're going to be using that to check our uh, cam bearing uh, alignment here in a minute. I'm going to use a, a Durabond F33 front bearing. Uh, this block uses FP01 bearings, but the front bearing is always so wide, and uh, you got to do a ton of grinding so that it'll clear the distributor gear. So I just uh, automatically throw a regular front bearing in. Then we're gonna add, uh, after we get it filled, or uh, not filled, cleaned, uh, I'm gonna add my new uh, oil pump flange block off plate on there. Since this is dry sump, it will not be using uh, an, uh, a block mounted oil pump. So we're gonna cover this hole. This is why uh, this hole has not been gasket matched or blended. There's no need in it. So uh, our, our new uh, billet aluminum plates. We'll cover that nice and neat. Uh, some guys tap these for a pipe plug. I don't like putting threads in there, but um, we'll get that covered up and uh, move on with it. So let's go ahead and get some cam bearings knocked in. Um, what I do on aluminum blocks, since they expand with heat, um, I use a Loctite uh, sleeve retainer compound and a little bit on the bearings before I drive them in and that ensures that they won't spin or walk out. Okay, first bearing is in uh, on normally on number two and number four cam bearings. Uh, you have to watch if you're oiling through the heads. Um, there's a passage uh, on side oilers that's usually like right here, and uh, on on this side of number four, so that oil will pass uh, in the groove from the cam and pass oil to the heads. Uh, this block does not oil that way. If you want to uh, review how the block oils, um, I've covered all that in the very first video. So uh, here's a, a number two cam bearing. It's got multiple holes in it uh, for those passages. You don't need to worry about that just as long as uh, one of the holes intersects the hole to uh, the main saddle. On these middle bearings, you have to be really careful um, I don't know if you can see, it's probably better without the light. The bearings are so wide that they can, if you don't pay attention to where you're driving them in, they will overlap the, the lifter bore. So you have to be very careful to make sure that they don't uh, stick too far out on each side. And it's good to take a lifter and make sure that you can work that in and out of the bore with the cam bearing in it. We're gonna be using some BAM 904 size solid roller lifters. As you can see, the, uh, the lifter travel is not impeded by the cam bearing. 
number three is in. We're getting ready to knock number four in. I'm going to switch from the opposite side. And uh, that's because my driving tool is long, so I want the most stability that I can get. Here is the cam bearing driven in the correct way. You know, checking lifter bore and lifter clearance to the cam bearing. We're good. Now, when the rear bearing goes in, there's a, a shoulder in, in the, made into the block for the rear cam plug to butt up against. So you, don't, you just want to drive the cam bearing in so that it's just behind that shoulder or flush with it. Then you need to use a mirror and make sure the oil feed hole lines up with this passage behind um, this plug hole here. And we are good to go. Got all of our bearings in. We got our new bullet cam in. Here's how smoothly it turns. I've got it by the little bull nose here, just freely turning away. So we're in good shape on cam bearing alignment. Got uh, easily moves in and out. So I'm gonna get this um, up on an engine stand and washed and we'll put our rear cam plug in and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, we got our block washed. And right now I'm checking uh, distributor gear to cam bearing clearance. So just something you need to check with the aftermarket blocks, especially if you're, if you go ahead and use the wide front bearing. Um, next thing we gotta do is put in all the pipe plugs. And there's quite a few of them, um, especially in the top and the back and the front to your main oil galleries and your lifter gallery. So we'll get that done next and then we'll move right on. Continuing on and we got our uh, oil pump flange block off plate on and we're gonna be using some calico coated federal mogul main bearings on this one. This block uses a Cleveland main bearing. So uh, the crank is still about a month and a half away um, but I can go ahead and get a set of bearings in here and um, go ahead and stab the cam in so that it'll be ready. Um, just doing little things that we can do to, uh, to kind of speed us along when parts show up. But uh, I think this is going to be about it for today. And uh, I've got a lot accomplished today, so I'm pleased with myself. But I uh, hope you're doing well, and um, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Uh, we just reached 6,000 subscribers. I know that's not a lot in comparison to some other people, but it's a, it's a nice little chunk. So thank you all for doing that for me. All right. Talk to y'all. Talk to y'all later.